Totty. Wait. Wait. I can't talk! Surrender on the King's line. Well, blimey, it's good to hear a London voice again. Silence, you rebel dog. Rebel? What are you talking about? I'm no rebel. Me and the doctor here have just arrived. Deserted them. You're lying just the same. I'm, uh, I'm glad you've come, Sergeant. Uh, I was waiting for an escort. Who the devil is your tongue, Sergeant? You are in charge of these men? No. I am. A gentleman at last. Dr. Van Veer, at your service. Doctor who? One of those confounded froggies that came over with the pretender. We ain't French. Oh, Chairman from Hanover, where your good King George comes from. And I speak English a good deal better than he does. Yeah, that's a treason. Shall we hang him now? Wait a moment. Who's that? Oh. Colin McLaren, the lad. An army's piper. Ah, uh, they're a poor lot, sir. <laughs> we get no pickings here. Let's hang him and have done. Well, a right shower you are. What have we done? Nothing. And what have you got against these two? They lost a battle, right? Well, doesn't that make them prisoners of war? Rebels are not treated as prisoners of war. Right, Sergeant. Prepare to hang them. Sure. Take him out. I tell you, I was... Him right. too. I haven't done anything. And him. But he can't walk. Drag him. Perfect. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Not a very inspiring battle, would you say, Perkins? Don't really know, sir. I've, I've never seen one before. This one was over in a brief hour. Huh. Never have I seen such brave fellows so poorly led. And now, Cumberland's troops butchering the wounded. Ah, it's such a waste of manpower. A little wine, Perkins. Oh, hey, yes, sir. Quite ready for it, I'm, sir. This sharp northern air, sir, gives one <laughs> quite an appetite. Oh. Ah, all these fine, sturdy Highlanders. Used to hard work, and little fool. Think what a price they'd fetch in Jamaica or Barbados, Bay. Well, pretty penny, no doubt, sir. <laughs> no doubt at all. Indeed. And I'll have them, thank you. I did not give up a thriving legal practice just for the honor of serving King George as his commissioner of prison. Well, I thought there was more behind it, sir. With Mr. Trask and his ship at our service, we may expect to clear some measure of profit out of this rebellion, eh, Perkins? Indeed, yes. Failing, of course, on how many of the wretched rebels we can deliver from His Majesty's overzealous soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> the wine was caught. If you wish to remain in my service, you'll have to be more careful. Won't you, Perkins? Yes, sir. My apologies, sir. It won't happen again, sir. I think we'd best be about our business. Otherwise, there'll be nothing but corpses left on the battlefield. And corpses are the little use of us. Hey, Perkins. A wagon, sir? Uh, no, I think not. I've had enough for one day. Come, Perkins. We'll walk. Yes, sir. Perkins? Uh, yes, sir. Look, sir. Over there. What that you? Looks like a 
winch. Stab me, there's another one. Yeah, puts me in mind of what Sergeant King of the Dragoons did. Sir. What? Well, the Dragoons have got orders to stop every woman. Not that they need them, Mike. Get to the point, Sergeant. You know, well, they've heard that the Prince is trying to escape this guy as a woman. So I'll go after him, sir. No, I'll get him. You two men, come in me. Chance. The officer's coming after us. They can't hang them with the officer away. Let's go. It'll do no good. Cyprus, you must know this place better than they do. Oh, there's a high track. And we're younger than they are. They'll never catch us. Come on. Oh, what? No. Leave that. What a great devotion to duty. Your lieutenant shows, Sergeant. Devotion to duty. <laughs> devotion to 30,000 pound reward, that's all. Do you think he will catch them? That young whelp couldn't catch his own grandmother. <laughs> Disrespect to your superior officer, Sergeant. I can report you. You could, but you won't. Ah, but that's a price, Sergeant. You won't, because you won't be here when he gets back. All right, you scum, proceed with the hanging. Well, you can't hang us with the officer away. Why do you think he went away? Got a delicate stomach, he has. Always leaves the dirty stuff to me. Right. Get him up. Yeah. Take the strain. Stand by. Who the devil are you? Solicitor Gray, Lincoln's in fields. His Majesty's Commissioner for Disposal of Rebel Prisoners. That's a fine, sturdy young man. Take the nooses off him. Set that young man down. Well, sit him down. Oh, I don't care who you are. You've got no charge over my men. Can you not read, Sergeant? I have charge over all rebel prisoners. Of course he has. Appointed by the Chief Justice of England. All prisoners. Not these. Perkins. The other pocket, I think. I admit your prior claim, Sergeant, but I think you're a reasonable man. Uh, continue, Perkins. Continue, I said. Of course, I regret any inconvenience encountered by yourself and these fine fellows of yours. All right. You were what the Commissioner said. Noot is off. Get him down. Oh, thanks, sir. A trifle, I assure you. Strong ruffians like you and this other young rebel here are needed in His Majesty's service. Ah, uh, yes. You can dispatch this one, Sergeant, and this strange-looking scoundrel. Article 17, Aliens Act, 1730. What? You are gentlemen of the law? How dare you speak to Mr. Gray like that? I'm a lawyer, yes. Then you're doubtless familiar with Article 17. You cannot hang a citizen.